today might be the most important video I ever make for you on this channel. I know that sounds extreme, but, but it's true. Today, I'm gonna walk you through my entire workflow for photo and video. And mainly we're gonna focus on how I back up images and files along the way, making sure that there's redundancy and that, that I never lose files. And other people do. I hear this all the time. I hear creators that are like, I had a hard drive fail and I lost 10 years of files or, or I lost all my vlogs from an entire year. And I'm like, what were you doing? Keeping them all on one hard drive. I've even seen videos that talk about like RAID setups, which are sweet, but a RAID setup still isn't redundancy. A RAID setup is one hard drive that's just super secure and probably won't fail. Like most likely it's not gonna fail, but it still could. Also, your house could burn down. So that RAID setup that's so secure is now on fire. This is one of those videos that I would have killed for at the beginning of my career because for the first few years, I'm pretty sure I was just keeping files on like one hard drive and editing them and sending them off and then deleting them. I mean, oh, what a nightmare that was. So today we're gonna fix all that. We're gonna get your workflow in a really smooth, redundant system and you'll never lose files again. Quickly, the theory that we're gonna follow as a professional is three backups, two locations. If you're not working professionally, I think you could probably get away with two backups, two locations. You should probably just do three anyways. It's safer and more better. If you've never lost files before, I totally get that you're probably saying, dude, that like takes up too much time. I gotta have another hard drive, three backups. That's ridiculous. If you've lost files before, yeah, you know why I say this, because it's horrible. Losing files is horrible. Oh, I've heard horror stories of people losing like wedding files. They shot someone's wedding, they put it on a hard drive, they deleted their SD cards, and then the hard drive failed. I don't even know what I would do. That would just be like career over. I would just quit. I'd be like, I guess I'm not a photographer anymore. I guess I'm done because I lost someone's wedding. Huh. No, no, don't let that happen ever. Never, ever let that happen to you. Here we go, I'm gonna take some theoretical files and we're gonna take them from start of workflow to finish of workflow. Take notes. I have theoretically gone out and shot some files on SD cards. So I now have photos and videos on my SD card. Where do they go next? The very first place they are going to go is to my working hard drive. This is a one terabyte Samsung SSD, which means that it is solid state. This thing can transfer files at 540 megabytes per second, which is super fast. So my working hard drive goes right here. I, uh, I keep it Velcroed to the back of my computer because it's tiny, it's light. And uh, if you're on an airplane, you don't have to put it anywhere. Even at like a coffee shop, it doesn't take up any more desk space because it's, uh, it's on my computer. All right, diving into the computer, we're gonna go in here and open up this working hard drive and you'll see that I have two template folders already on there for shoots and one for vlogs. We'll go over the vlog template because the vlog template has both photo and video and uh, it's just more complete. So within this vlog template, there is a Lightroom catalog already set up exactly how I like it and a Premiere Pro project file set up exactly how I like it. The sequence settings are already there. The folder system is already there. It's, it's ready to go for me. And then under that, you'll see I have a folder for my video files and each camera that I shoot with. So my a7R2, GoPro, iPhone, Mavic, RX100 Mark VI, and if I have any other cameras that I end up shooting with that day, like the Insta360, I'll just uh, create another folder right there. With this folder template set up exactly how I like it, all I have to do is go in there and select it. Command C to copy. I click on my working folder, Command Paste, and I'm gonna rename this. The rubric that I'm gonna use is a two digit year, two digit month, and two digit day. And then uh, name it whatever I wanna name it. Today we'll call it a, oops, backup video. Boom. Now I'm going to hit 
enter command C, go over here. I'm gonna rename my Lightroom catalog and my Premiere project catalog the exact same stuff so that everything is uh, neat and tidy. Once I have this completely in place, all I'm gonna do is transfer files from my SD cards into the appropriate folders within that event. I'm going to open up two Finder windows right next to each other on my desktop and plug in my backup hard drive, which is a lacy four terabyte rugged hard drive. It's not an SSD, so it's a little slower, and this backup takes a little bit more time. So with my working hard drive selected on the left and my backup hard drive selected on the right, I'm just gonna go in here, find this event that I just uploaded everything to, grab the entire master folder, drag it over here to working, and let that copy. Bink, done, easy. So now I have all of my files on my SD card, they are on my working hard drive, and now they're on my backup hard drive as well. And once that's done, I'm going to eject my backup hard drive. I'm gonna take this backup hard drive, and I'm gonna put it somewhere else in my house. It doesn't matter where, just somewhere other than where your working hard drive is. This way, if someone breaks into your house or, or something terrible happens to your computer setup, your backup hard drive is somewhere else in the house, not having something terrible happen to it. I even know some people that keep their backup hard drive in their car in case their house burns down, which sounds extreme, but it's probably a good idea. So backup hard drive is now disconnected. It is somewhere else in your house. Lastly, because I'm a professional photographer and people are paying me money, I take this entire master folder and I do a third backup to the cloud in Google Drive. Google Drive ranges in pricing. I have the business suite, so I pay $50 a month for unlimited storage. I know $50 a month sounds like a lot, and it is, but for business and to know that every file I've ever shot is online in one place where I can access it, my, my house could burn down, all of my old storage of hard drives could be completely decimated, and I still have every image and video I've ever shot. That's worth $50 a month. It's like a crazy cheap price. If you're not doing this professionally, I think you should still probably get like a one terabyte or a two terabyte backup in the cloud somewhere on Amazon Drive or Google Drive or, or Dropbox. Is Dropbox still around? And just back up your current files. So if you've gone out and you've shot 100 gigabytes, just back up 100 gigabytes on there, work the project, do all the edits, and then delete it from there so that you have space to do it again with your next project. And as a side note to this three backup system, if we're out traveling, I have two backup hard drives with us so that the files go to the working drive, two backup hard drives, I put one of these in my bag, I put one of them in Morgan's bag, and, and that's as good as it gets. Usually while we're traveling, the Wi-Fi is garbage, so to uh, back up like hundreds of gigabytes of information to the cloud, uh, it's just not gonna happen. But that maintains the three backups, two locations theory. Do not format your SD cards before this is all done. Three backups, two locations, then you can format your SD cards. Even then, I usually don't format my SD cards uh, unless I really, really have to until after I've delivered images to a client. That's just me being really cautious. The next step in the workflow is editing, and that's obviously a little different for photo and video, but basically all the work is being done on my working hard drive. So I'm actually working from this hard drive, having it plugged in. The raw photo files are gonna go through Lightroom and then Photoshop, and then be exported as JPEGs back into this master folder system. The video files are gonna go through Premiere and maybe After Effects, be exported as an MP4, back into this original file system. So both photo and video go off into their respective programs, but then all come back into this final master file folder. Once they are exported, those JPEGs get uploaded to my client galleries. They also get uploaded to my Google Drive as a backup. The video files usually go to YouTube and then also go to Google Drive as a backup. At this point, I am done with those folders. They've been delivered to my clients. They are backed up into Google Drive. I then take the master folder with everything in them and I upload them to one of these honkers. These are uh, an eight terabyte Seagate hard drive that I get at Costco for like a hundred bucks. And uh, you can see, uh, you kind of can't see. Uh, there's like a bunch of them back there. 
basically that is long-term storage. So I'm gonna take the main folder from here and I'm gonna transfer it to a long-term storage. So that's totally backed up. And then I can delete this folder from my master and I can delete it from my backup. Purely for storage, I don't really access those hard drives. So now we move on to post delivery. I have uploaded my vlog to YouTube. I have delivered my images to the client. I have deleted everything off of these two hard drives. My original raw files and footage live on a long-term storage hard drive here, and they live on my Google Drive online. Backed up forever. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If you picked up anything from today, hit the like button for me, hit subscribe, ring the bell. I'm gonna make more videos about video and photo and getting into it, color grading, all the things that you've asked. I'm gonna make videos about it. But today, this video, it's the most important. I hope you do it. I hope, I hope none of you are keeping all of your photos or video on one hard drive or one computer. Oh, I see that all the time. People just keep all their files on one computer and then the computer dies and they go, I lost everything. Back up your files. Do it. Back them up. Or we'll be mad at you. <laughs> Go back up your folders. All of them. Put them online. I'm gonna back up this file right now before I start editing it to make the video cause, cause yeah. I'm gonna follow my own advice. How about that? How crazy is it that creators walk around with all their footage on one hard drive, yet their cell phone is backing up all their photos automatically to the cloud, as if their footage is less important than a photo of their avocado toast.